A little bit of everything. You know, Rocky II is on the market right, right now, and, right. and the Cubs check today uh, turned loose their own version of Apollo Creed as they uh, came from behind. Really, they didn't come from behind. Mike Kruko really handled the whole thing all the way himself. They won it 11-4. Kruko, two hit the uh, Phillies this afternoon, and then played Apollo Creed as he punched out the Philadelphia pitcher, Kevin Saucier. Dave Kingman's 26th home run early in the game. Really got the Cubs going, and boy, how Davis hitting early in the game. That's his ninth homer, by the way, with two strikes on him this year, his 26th of the year. Jerry Martin now has 12 home runs, four in consecutive games. He now has 48 RBIs as the Cubs really pounded out 17 hits today. Mike Vale here filling in for Bobby Mercer now that Bobby's gone, hit four for five. He had two singles, a double, and a triple, and the former Santa Clara is off and running. He loves to play, and he knows he can hit. He just wants to be in that lineup. Mike Kruko who, as I said, uh, pitched a two-hitter today, jacked his first major league home run, but the next time he came to the plate, it was another story. Watch Kevin Saucier, the left-handed pitcher for the Phillies. He was brought up when they were in pitching trouble earlier this year, and he obviously throws at him right here. Well, you didn't quite see it, and on the way to first base, Krukow and Saucier uh, exchanged a few unpleasantries. The umpire warned Saucier that's an automatic fine, and then it all broke loose. Saucier coming after Krukow, and Krukow getting the only lick in as Pete Rose and Bob... Uh, Boone and some others in there, including Barry Foote, try to keep things under control, which they did. But the fight broke loose. The main thing is the Cubs won the ball game 11 to 4. And as far as we understand, there is no injury to Krukow uh, for that right hand he threw that I think landed on Saucier's helmet. The only injury this afternoon occurred to Dave Kingman. He has a hyperextension of his left knee. He may be out of the lineup a day, but of course the Cubs have tomorrow off. The main thing is the final score Cubs 11 and the Philadelphia Phillies 4.